Welcome back to P4. Today we're looking at points of intersection. And this is for two vectors, and the ones we're going to be looking at is vectors in three dimension. Because obviously vectors in two dimensions, you know, it's really easy to see when lines intersect when we're only looking on a two-dimensional plane. But when we open that up into a three-dimensional plane, it becomes much harder just to, to spot or to see, you know, you actually do have to calculate this. Luckily, it just involves some simultaneous equations. And essentially, we go about calculating whether it would meet in a single 2D plane and then apply that to the third dimension. And if it works for that, then they intersect. And if it doesn't work for the third one, then they miss each other. Very straightforward, but much easier to show you. So let's do that now. So if I have two vectors, what I want to do first of all is write these as column vectors. And then obviously, just like you would do with any other lines, we would make them equal. So they are, so we're obviously, if these two are equal, we're looking at this equal in this one. So we've got, for the one on the left, we've got 3i plus 1 lambda. We've got 1j minus 2 lambda and 1k minus 1 lambda and then on the right we've got 0i minus 5 mu and we've got 3 sorry minus 2j plus 1 mu and 3k plus 4 mu and there is my vectors in their column vector form and equal to each other. So what this will do is it will give us three equations for each of my x, my y and my z directions. So we've got 3 plus lambda equals minus 5. 1 minus 2 lambda equals minus 2 plus mu. 1 minus lambda equals 3 plus 4 mu. And apologies, I've missed the mu out of the minus 5, as that was 0i minus 5 mu. Now then, we've got, as I said, three equations. What we want to do is we want to take two of our equations, solve them for lambda and mu, so that will mean that these two will work perfectly with each other. And then we compare that in the third equation. And if it works for the third equation as well, then they intersect. If it doesn't work for the third equation, then they do not intersect. So let's solve equations one and two. So I'm going to do this here. So a couple of ways in which you can do it, up, totally up to you how you solve your simultaneous equations, but I'll do that now. So now you can see we've got a value for both our mu and our lambda. So now we want to look at equation three. So we think now from equation three, we're given one minus lambda equals three plus four mu. So looking at on the left, we get one minus two. And on the right, we've got three plus four times minus one. So on the left, we've got minus one equals, and then three to equal four is also minus one. So our lines, intersect. Now you can do this any kind of way, any two equations. Initially I used one and two. One and three would have worked better because I wouldn't have had to multiply by two. So one and three would have worked better then I would have used equation two in this final step. Okay now what I would then finish off with because if I want to find the point then that means I need to either substitute lambda in or mu in to either equation and that will give me the point. So if I look at the 
first one we get 3i plus in fact let's not use the i let's use the uh, column vector we've got 3 plus 2 1 minus 2 lots of 2 and 1 minus 2 so that's given me essentially the column vector or the coordinates 5 minus 3 minus 1 and equally if I use the one with uh, mu so this would be minus 5 lots of mu and don't forget mu is minus 1 minus 2 plus or minus 1 and 3 plus 4 lots of minus 1 and then we have the exact same coordinates of 5 uh, minus 3 and minus 1 I would have probably have put it uh, the column vector in first, but they're a bit more like this. So our lines intersect at this point, and I would have probably kept the actual column vectors there first. But like I said, you just do one or the other. You don't do both as they're going to give you the same value. Now, if you wanted to show that two lines do not intersect, you do the exact same steps all the way. And at the end here, this final line here, you would have it so that you have the equals with a line through it. So it does not equal because you have a different value either side. And then your statement can be, so the lines do not intersect. It's exactly the same uh, process. Now, I won't do any more examples, but I will start some questions and I'll throw a couple of as well as challenging as I can make this um, towards the end for you to have a go at as always the answers will be at the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel or if you just haven't subscribed yet and you know fire a comment if you want to ask me any questions or if you support me making a silly mistake as it does happen from time to time enjoy